is Miss P here today with a small group activity that deals with data analysis. We're going to use our chart, some popsicle sticks, and some cutouts of shapes. Data analysis. Although they do not go about this process as systematically as adults, children nevertheless enjoy gathering and recording quantitative information. As with other areas of early mathematics, infants focus on single objects or events. By toddlerhood, children group things into collections that they later learn to quantify and compare. Preschoolers can begin to represent this information on simple charts and make sense of the data. Gradually, children begin to ask their own questions that can be answered by gathering and interpreting data. Parents today, we're aiming for a level five, which says the child interprets information or data from a representation. And we're aiming for level six, child applies information and data from a representation. All right, families, let's get started. So this is simple. We're gonna do some more practice on our two dimensional shapes before we can introduce the children to our three dimensional shapes like the cylinder and the spear. So we're gonna start with this shape. Anybody know what that shape is? It has one, two, two long sides and two short sides. What shape is that? Two, two long sides and two short sides. We're gonna count the number of sides using the popsicle six. All right, here we go. You have one, two, three, four. Four sides. So the rectangle has four sides. Our next shape is going to be what shape is that? It has four sides that are the same side, but it's not a square. It's a diamond. Let's see how many sides the diamond has. One, two, three, four. The diamond also has four sides. So is that the diamond? No, they don't look like this is the diamond. The diamond has four sides. All right, who's that? Three sides. It's a triangle. Let's see how many sides the triangle has. One, two, three. The triangle has three sides. Three sides for the triangle. Three sides. All right. Let's do our next shape. The trapezoid. Small at the top, long at the bottom. Two arms that meet. It's a trapezoid. One, two, three, four. The trapezoid has four sides. Four is a popular number. All right, last but not least, the hexagon. The hexagon. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Wow, the hexagon has six sides. Now we want to know which shape has the smallest number of sides. So the diamond, the rectangle, and the trapezoid all have four. The triangle has three sides. Is three more than four or less than four? Three is less than four. Is three less than six or more than six? Three is less than six. So then the triangle is the shape with the smallest 
amount of sides. <clears throat> and the shape with the biggest amount of sides, we know three is the smallest, and these three shapes all have four. If you count one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the biggest number, the largest number. So the hexagon is, has the biggest amount of sides. So we're just gonna draw hexagon. So again, parents, this small group activity is to focus on data analysis. If the child can see the visual of the number of sides that each shape has, it's easier for them to identify which shape has the smallest amount of sides or which shape has the largest amount of sides. I hope this small group activity can help you guys out. Like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom, and I'll see you next time.